the biggest stories of the week has been the NFL and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and their handling of the tape that shows Rice uh, punching and knocking out his then fiance, now current wife. Let's get the latest on this story with Dusty Staub, who's a workplace culture expert for 1320 WLS and Fox News Radio. Dusty, how are you? I'm doing well, Tony. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Great to hear your voice. Where are we with this story? Well, I would say that uh, as I look at it as a, as a leadership expert and somebody who's been working with executives for over 30 years, that at the very least, uh, I would say that Roger Goodell's leadership is AWOL, absent without leave. He either showed very poor judgment or he's lying. Uh, and I think that either way, the NFL has got a huge uh, black eye and a big issue here. Um, it looks like that the morality clause is more of a joke than a reality, especially when you go back and you say for, for pot use, uh, a player gets suspended for a year. For knocking a woman unconscious, you get a two-game suspension. Something's very, very wrong there. Who makes that decision? How much influence does Roger Goodell have in that? And I wonder how much the owners and, and other NFL uh, employees I think I think Goodell has a lot of influence. They paid him a lot of money uh, uh, last year and, and probably this year. Uh, he has a lot of influence, and uh, I think that the issue is that if you've got a player who's talented and capable and uh, can help you win games, that the policy, and not just in the NFL, I think in all major sports, is you turn a blind eye to it. You turn to the side because most – uh, spouse abuses, uh, men who abuse women, are still playing in the sports game. Uh, you can look at, uh, at the Panthers. and Greg Hardy is convicted in July. Two convictions of domestic abuse. He's appealing that, but he's still playing in the meantime. So um, I think that we've got a major issue here in all the sports, not just the NFL. Right now, what makes it so hot for them is there's a video showing the violent act in there. Whereas the first video showing him dragging her out of there unconscious, obviously having done something to her, uh, oh, got a two-game suspension. So, so when you look at this, Tony, I think that, that we got a social problem, not just a problem with, with uh, big league sports. Uh, and speaking uh, of uh, what's happened with the video, it appears now, as, as always happens, the cover-up is worse than a crime, which is hard to believe. Yeah, well, you think people would have learned that from Watergate. <laughs> but still, people take the easy way out. And I think it's an act of cowardice that, uh, you know, the, the reason people cover up is they lack the courage to really put it out there, and they make a short-term decision. Goodell on Tuesday said in an interview that what the video showed versus what Rice told him was inconsistent, whereas four sources close to this said that Rice came clean and said, no, he, he, he really hit her. And uh, there was the first video showing him dragging her out of the elevator. So what more do they need? By the way, if you saw a video of a woman being dragged out of an elevator and you were in charge of a body, wouldn't you want to see the video that what, of what actually happened in there? That's just human nature. To say it wasn't watched or wasn't seen is either uh, against any common sense or it's gross negligence, one or the other. Uh, let's uh, talk about the supposedly independent uh, 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 um, uh, law enforcement official uh, that's going to uh, take a take a look at this and 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 research it and see. You know, I wonder how how independent it's going to be when the the head of this, who was a former FBI director, uh, has financial ties to the NFL. He's worked for them before. Yeah, that's Mueller. Mueller's a guy with great integrity, and he did a great job with the FBI, but I think he's the wrong guy simply because of those ties. Now, uh, Free, uh, who was a former director of the FBI, also did an investigation for Penn State, and it was a, a nice PR job for Penn State and got them reinstated, uh, and it had some scapegoats in it. Now, whether that was a PR job or whether it was an accurate report, I can't say. Uh, but the the challenge right now is... That I think the NFL's credibility and certainly uh, Goodell's credibility is, uh, you know, um, on fourth down with 50 yards to go. And uh, it would take a lot to convince me that, that he should stay.
You think he has lied, or was he just not informed of the video's content? So, and, and does it matter? Well, it doesn't matter because when you're a senior leader like that and they pay you tens of millions of dollars, you, you either have to show really great judgment, and if you don't show that good judgment, uh, that's an issue, or he lied. So he's either guilty of poor judgment uh, and being derelict in his duty or of lying. Either way, uh, that would be a sign somebody needs to be replaced. And before I let you go, Dusty, the way he's handled this and some of the comments I've uh, seen, like, for example, on Twitter, uh, Indiana uh, Pacers basketball a star Paul George has had to apologize for some tweets in which he sent out uh, in a negative light uh, of females who are involved in domestic abuse. And just in reading that and hearing some of the other comments I get, I I get a sense people don't, uh, some people don't understand this and still have a, uh, just don't think of women highly enough. Uh, And what's your take on that? I, I would agree with that, and I think you know, this is an issue for all of sports. It's an issue for our society. I have two daughters. My 20-year-old daughter was saying she was just shocked. She couldn't believe believe what she saw in the video. And yet a, a comment was made by a man in a bar saying, you know, he should have taken her to the room before he hit her. That just says that the problem's much bigger than that. And, and either way, we've got to have people with character and courage to stand up and take responsibility. Dusty Staub is a workplace culture expert for 1320 WILS and Fox News Radio. Dusty, thanks so much. My pleasure, Tony.